good morning guys i just woke up like this sorry i have been a little mia on this vlog so last week um i just was kind of struggling with the whole lockdown thing and didn't feel in a good enough like mental place to vlog i was also super super busy with work which um although it was frustrating at the time was is also obviously i'm massively grateful for it because i would hugely rather be busy with work than not at all so i realize um i'm very very lucky with that is concerned and that's by no means me complaining but um yeah i was super super busy at work and just not in a very good mental place so i didn't really do much or consider much towards my um <sighs> lockdown glow up this week however i'm trying to get back on it so it's like 20 past eight now i've been awake since probably about quarter two so i'm gonna get up and go downstairs and have some breakfast now and then i'm gonna come back upstairs i'm just gonna get ready for the day um i've got a conference call at 10 and then i want to do a little bit of work before that as well so i'm gonna put some makeup on maybe do something with my hair depending on how long it's gonna take me and yeah i want to put on proper clothes so this is this is a thing i'm dealing with at the minute right? so every day i want to put on proper clothes because i want to feel like i am having a normal day and kind of getting up and embossing it but i also want to try and encourage myself to work out each day and i know that if i'm not dressed in gym clothes there's no way i'm going to do it so I'm ending up spending every single day wearing gym clothes, but then I'm not wearing actual clothes, so I don't feel productive. It's like a catch-22, because if I do one, then I know I'm not going to achieve the other thing that I want to do from that day. Um, so I don't know whether to put proper clothes on today and then try and challenge myself to still work out. Because I have a workout in mind that I want to do today and that I think I'm going to do outside at some point, either before or after lunch. So yes, that is on the agenda this morning as well. First of all, I'm going to get up, I'm going to have some breakfast, and start my day. Hi guys, looking a little bit more alive than I did when I last checked in with you. I have had some breakfast, I just had some cornflakes and milk, and a little bit of sugar on top, which I know I shouldn't have, but it just does make things so much tastier. Um, and I'm just getting ready to sit down and work, it's 9am, I've got a conference call at 10, so I'm going to put some makeup on for that um but i'm just gonna sit down and get a little bit of work done i think possibly before i put makeup on so i want to stretch about my skin give you a little update so as you can see it's still skin um my freckles have all started to come out from the sun which i love i love this part of the year my chin however is still angry looking now the reality is a lot of this now is scarring um that's kind of a oh god my nails are awful that is a breakout that's healing that's active that's active that's active that's healing everything else is scarring which is kind of frustrating because it means that even when my skin is clear i still look like i have a huge breakout so i need to find a product that is going to help clear up that scarring if you know of anything please leave it in the comments or let me know because i yeah really need to heal that and get rid of that scarring asap um but that's how my skin's looking it's actually looking a lot better than it has been for a little while i've pretty much not been putting anything on my skin and i think this is why it's getting a little bit better so i wasn't like totally overloading my skin with skincare products i did try and keep it fairly minimal i do a double cleanse i'd exfoliate an anti-redness serum moisturizer done um but sometimes in my skin when it really 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 flares up the only thing to do is strip it back to complete inner basics and just wash my face and put moisturizer and spot cream on so that's what i'm doing i'm just literally washing my face and then moisturizer and spot cream if i need it um and spf obviously as well and that seems to be doing the trick at the minute and i'm just going to keep it this way i feel bad because i have so much skincare from brands that i want to work through and i want to feature for you guys and feature on instagram and stuff but right now it's just not the time because my skin is just irritated af so yes that is where we're at i'm gonna make my bed and then i'm going to crack on with some work
and just like that I am done and ready for my first conference call of the day. I am really loving my makeup routine at the minute, it's super minimal when I am wearing makeup um, and yeah I kind of feel like I might film it for you guys and put it on here either in this vlog or as a whole separate video, I don't know. I'm not wearing makeup every day of quarantine, it seems pointless to be quite honest but um, I'm trying to wear it now and again just for a sense of normality and obviously when I create content and stuff like that I am wearing makeup. I am wearing so much less than I have ever 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 worn before and it's honestly so freeing to wear pretty much nothing on my face. Obviously with my skin like I'm still wanting to kind of cover it up a little bit but I'm just not that bothered and it's really nice. <laughs> it's a really nice feeling. Um, so yeah let me know if you guys want to see that either as part of a vlog or part of a separate video. I'm getting emails sent through as I'm sure you probably just heard so I'm going to go and deal with them and I will catch you guys later. I'm going to do a workout this afternoon. I have it planned. I'm so excited for it. So yeah, I will see you guys probably when I do that. Hey guys, so we're like, what, a week and a half? Maybe a little bit more into this glow up. I haven't been vlogging as consecutively as I wanted to, but um, I am trying. I've just had like a crazy busy couple of work weeks, so it's just meant that I've not been picking up the camera as much as I thought I would. I've also not been exercising as much as I thought I would. I've done a couple of like full body exercises. I've worked out with my PT. I've been trying to walk every day, but I've not done as much as I actually wanted to. So I'm hoping this week is the week I can get back into a routine with it. I did go for a walk today, I haven't done any other exercise but um, I've been kind of, like I say, glued to my laptop. However, I have noticed a definite change in my body, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can definitely tell my stomach is smaller than it was. Um, my abs are also really starting to come back, like if I tense you can really start to see the definition in them. But yeah, I feel like this lower part of my belly is a little bit smaller. I have just had my period, so that does obviously help, but it's definitely getting there. I can't say I look any different from the front particularly. Um, that still is what it is. Um, I do finally fit into these Calvin Klein leggings, though. I bought these a year ago, roughly, um, for a loungewear haul video. And they barely fitted me and now they do so that's good um there's no real difference to my arms they're the same but i'm not expecting a huge difference but yeah i'm definitely happy that my stomach area is feeling better it's definitely smaller than it was um and i think drinking a lot of water has helped i've been drinking more water recently so attempting to continue with that also a skin update my skin is definitely looking a lot clearer than it was on my first um glow up vlog so there's still a little bit of redness around this area but not really an active breakout here do not know why my eye always looks so shadowed on this camera because it never looks like this in person so god knows why um i've got a current like little active breakout here that's definitely a hormonal one but all of this is cleared up now this is just scarring left over um there's much less congestion under my skin around my chin um since kind of clearing out with the exfoliator and then obviously healing that breakout so i think i might get the exfoliator out again this week or next week and just do another week with it i'll use it every couple of days and see what else it brings out but yeah i'm feeling quite good about that like this is the smoothest my skin's felt for a while i've got a little bit of under the skin congestion here and here but nothing that feels like it's about to break out anytime soon um i've also been trying to look after my hair more this week i've actually got a hair care video going live on igtv this week which i will try and link in the cards if i can or if not i'll try and link it in the down bar so you can see that and that's about kind of my um, pampering kind of hair care routine i got some new products from HQ hair through so I will definitely show you them later in the vlog and I'm also getting some skincare through from Dermalogica this week which I will show you and I'll just kind of chat through my entire skincare routine because at the moment it's definitely changed I've cut down massively on the number of products that I'm using on a daily basis just while I'm trying to heal my skin and it's definitely thanking me for it so I will talk to you all about skincare probably tomorrow I'm now going to go and shower and just decompress from the day I've still got a video or two to edit but I'm going to do them after I've had my dinner and yeah, that's where we're at. Hi guys, welcome back to my day, wait, week two glow up. As you can probably guess, I'm not actually filming this as like a daily vlog, proper weekly vlog situation. That's how I intended to when I first started it, but honestly the past week or so has been so crazy with work that I haven't really had time to pick up the camera. So it's just 
it's not really week two it's more like i think we're on week six of lockdown now but to be fair i started this video on like week four so um anyway as you can see i am sat here looking very fetching with pseudocreme on my skin this week i'm focusing on skincare so i'm going to talk to you more in depth about that um in the next day or so probably when i have not still got white patches all over my face i've also fake tanned so one thing that i'm trying to make sure i do every single week is fake tan because even though i'm not going anywhere it's making me feel so much better about myself um and yes so that i have done that today i've taken this afternoon off work and i'm really glad that i have because it's just given me the chance for my brain to have a break because it's just been frantic um so yeah i'm really really glad i made that decision so i've just been sat with a book for the afternoon in the sun it has been lovely but i'm going to go back to my book now but i just wanted to check in because it's been a little while since i have and tomorrow i'm actually going to film properly i have a few videos i'm filming tomorrow and this is going to be one of them so i will check in with you guys tomorrow hi guys so i know i didn't talk through skincare like i said i was going to today i promise i will do it tomorrow today was just a day but i'm actually using pseudocreme again as you can tell i look like i have an actual like beard situation going on because i used it yesterday for the first time and it actually made a huge difference to my skin i woke up this morning and all my acne scarring was like a lot less kind of in your face and the breakout that i've got going on here had really started to heal overnight it was dried up quite a bit and it was a lot less angry so i'm hoping when I wake up in the morning, I will see even more of a difference. I'm not going to leave this on fully overnight just because I hate the idea of getting pseudocreme all over my pillows. But I'm going to leave it on for a few more hours. I think it's been on for two already. Um, and see what happens when I take it off. And then tomorrow I'm going to run through my skincare properly with these so you can see the products I've been using. And also my kind of new in products as well because there's some new in items that I'm quite excited to show you. Hey guys, it's Monday again. I have been so bad with this vlog. It's been super sporadic. I'm actually going to end this vlog after this clip and we're going to start week three, episode three of the glow up as a fresh start of me actually hopefully consecutively vlogging, but <sighs> I'm out of breath. So today I wanted to talk to you as I promised a couple of times now in previous clips about skincare. As you can see, I've still got marks on my face, but this has certainly cleared up a lot from like the last time I showed you. And I feel like my scarring is getting a little bit better as well now. Obviously, I've got a lot of freckles as well, so some of these are freckles too. Um, but this is definitely getting a lot better. So I thought I would just run through what I've been using as kind of like my daily skincare routine, morning and night, um, and what I'm going to be using. Some of these products have now run out. So for a cleanser, I have been using the Demologica Special Cleansing Gel. Wow, that piece of hair is annoying. Uh, the Demologica Special Cleansing Gel. So I was using this in the morning and in the evening. It's actually run out now. I'm really sad about this. This is the first cleanser that I've really, really, really like adored. And I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it when my next cleansers are done. This is just super gentle on the skin. It's really, really nice. But it's just helped me to clear my skin up along with a range of other products as well. So in the morning I'd use this first, then in the evening I would use the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse first. This is like a little oil, um, cleansing oil that just kind of melts your makeup off. So I normally, I guess I triple cleanse in the evening, which is probably a bit much, but I do take my makeup off with the micellar water first. I just like to have my makeup off before I start putting products on, which I know I don't necessarily need to do, but I like to do it. So I take makeup off with micellar water, then I put this pre-cleanse on, followed by... The special cleansing gel and then in the mornings i literally just follow that straight away with the um la roche posay spf 30 uh, effaclad duo i think this is like a moisturizer i was using this and a moisturizer and then recently realized i think i only need to use this so this is like an anti-imperfection moisturizing cream and like this one has spf 30 in it i'm a big 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 advocate for spf every single day regardless of the weather regardless of the time of year you can still get UV damage to your skin. So always wear an SPF. I always wear 30 or above. So this is my current SPF. However, Dermalogica very kindly gifted me their Invisible Defense SPF as well. So I'll be trying this one next after my La Roche-Posay has run out. Um, so that's my morning routine. Really, really simple. Sometimes I will tone as well. And if I use a toner, I will use the Pixi Vitamin C Tonic. This is the one I'm currently using. Prior to this, I was just using a Lazelle um, toner, which has now run out. So in the evenings after i've cleansed um sometimes i will use the daily microfolium from dermalogica but i haven't been using that recently because while my skin has been so badly broken out i have actually stripped back my skincare completely and for a little while i've been doing absolutely nothing except for moisturizing and washing my face every day 
Um, now that I'm back onto reintroducing my products, I'm not reintroduced the microfoliant yet. So once I finish cleansing, I will either go in with the Pixi Tonic again, or I will go in with the Nip and Fab um, Glycolic Liquid Glow Fix Exfoliator. I tend to use this once or twice a week, if that, just to help re surface my skin and kind of help with the texture of my skin because I had a lot of like under the skin congestion. Um, I've also been using the Eve Lom cleanser as well. This is a balm cleanser. So this I've been using since my Dermalogica cleanser ran out. I'm liking it so far. I'm not 100% certain I like the smell of it. It's got a bit of like a, I don't know, like a smell that just kind of gets to me. Um, but since my cleanser's run out, I've been using this and I also kind of want to mix between this and the Dermalogica Active Clay Cleanser that I've just been gifted. I think I've, well, I've done a video, um, like a haul video, which will probably be going up after this, I think. And I speak about this in a bit more detail there, but I don't know if I can actually use a clay cleanser daily or not. I don't know if it'll be a bit too much for my skin. I'm going to kind of figure it out and then I guess alternate between the two maybe but I also don't want to irritate my skin so these are kind of the cleansing duo that I may be using going forward but right now I'm definitely using the Evelon one and then for moisturizer in the evening I use uh, this works anti-wrinkle moisturizer but this is nearly out as well and I have no moisturizer um, to replace it with so that's kind of annoying but that's my skincare routine right now Sounds very convoluted, but what I will do is do a dedicated skincare routine video, I think, where I actually show you what I'm doing and the order I use the products in and how I use them, etc. Because obviously that was kind of just a lot of words. Um, but one thing I have noticed has really, really healed my skin is using Sudacreme on it. I'm actually going to go and put some on now. Um, and that's really helping to clear this breakout blemish situation. So I am loving that. But on that note, I'm actually going to leave this vlog here. I don't know if it was very good yet. Obviously, we'll see when I edit. Hopefully, it was better than the last one. I don't even know. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in another video very soon.